In this video, we'll discuss about the X-ray findings for COPD. Now, as we all know, that COPD is the most common condition nowadays because of the pollution and most important factor is smoking okay the smoking leads to uh, inflammation of the airways and with time this airways get destroyed okay there are elastic tissues and uh, smooth muscles okay that get destroyed and there will be dilatation of the airways and that is a permanent dilatation and the normal functioning of the lung is affected which leads to uh, air trapping okay so there are two types chronic bronchitis what is chronic bronchitis chronic bronchitis uh, we can define it in this way that is cough for most of the days in a week for more than three months in a year for two consecutive years okay so basically what happens is take it this is a bronchi okay so there is an inflammation of the bronchi and there will be mucus increased mucus secretion and airway remodeling airway remodeling there will be smooth muscle hyperplasia goblet cells will increase okay and this will lead to narrowing of the airways and air trapping and then other condition is emphysema emphysema so in emphysema what happens is there's a permanent dilatation of the distal airways okay distal to the terminal bronchial so these are the airways and these are the alveoli okay this is the normal alveoli okay but because of the destruction of the elastic tissues okay this airways get dilated and from this so many alveoli okay it gets converted into a large big space because the septa which is present in between the alveoli get destroyed okay and this cause the air trapping so now you can understand that there is a air trapping okay in both the condition so if this is the size of the normal lung because of the air trapping what will happen is the size of the lung will increase okay so in the x-ray you can see the expansion of the lung and if there is a expansion of the lung okay we know that lung contains air so in x-ray the lungs will look more black right now there is a diaphragm also like there's a diaphragm like this okay on both the sides but if the lung is expanded okay you can see that the lower border comes here okay so this diaphragm will also be pushed down okay so this will lead to flattening of the diaphragm right now what happens is there is a heart here okay which looks like this in normal x-ray but because of the pulling of the diaphragm as the heart is connected with the diaphragm it will be also pushed downwards and it will appear as a tubular heart okay it will appear like this is a tubular heart so tubular heart so now now let's see uh, this findings in uh, x-ray in correlated correlated with the x-ray uh, also i forgot something there will be bulla formation okay because i have already explained you that this because of the destruction of the alveolar septa the alveolar spaces okay there are alveolar lobules okay as in us will come together and they will form a large space and this leads to formation of bulla okay so there will be bulla also and this bulla can rupture and this can cause pneumothorax in the patient and this is the emergency condition so with every copd patient you should keep this uh, emergency condition in mind that is pneumothorax so now let's compare with the x-ray 
now you can see that <coughs> the lungs the lung fills become black here okay now to see that there is a hyper uh, infl uh, inflation of the lung or expansion we need to count the ribs now let's count it there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, normally how many ribs should be seen? That is 10 ribs. Okay, but we can see here 11 ribs. That means the lung is expanded. Okay, so first point is clear that there is a hyper expansion of the lung. And you can see the blackness, okay, over this area. You can see this lesion. Okay, this is the bulla. Okay, you can even see here this is the wall of the bulla and there is a large bulla here sitting here okay so there are bulla present okay then other thing we can see is you can see this heart okay which has almost become tubular and small okay so again we got our other point that is tubular heart okay and you can see this diaphragm see this right and the left there is not much difference between the uh, you know height of the right and the left diaphragm it has almost reached the same level you can also uh, come to the point i mean you can also see technically the diaphragm is pushed downwards by making drawing a line here from costophrenic angle to costo cardiac angle okay and you can just draw this line and measure this if this comes out to be less than 1.5 centimeter then we can say that diaphragm has been pushed downwards and it is we can see here it will be less than 1.5 centimeter so again we come to the finding that diaphragm has flattened okay so these are the findings again let me tell you that first count the ribs okay more than 10 ribs hyperinflation of the lung then you can see the bulla here okay you can see this black 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 lungs okay then you can see this tubular heart and the diaphragm pushed downwards okay so these are the findings of COPD <coughs> and uh, this many a times what happens is in initial stages of COPD the chest x-ray will be absolutely normal Okay, and you cannot uh, every time diagnose COPD with uh, this x-rays so the you know gold standard is pyrometry so keep this in mind okay only chest x-ray cannot uh, say that yeah this patient has COPD or not gold standard is pyrometry every patient has to undergo this test okay for diagnosed uh, whether he is having COPD or not so yeah that's all for this video if you like it please press like button comment subscribe and share and stay tuned for more videos